Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing on any mainstream media platform that you could think of. So I wanted to go over uh, Jay-Z. Um, everyone knows him. He is a big star, uh, A-list uh, rap star, actor, um, businessman, a lot of things. Um, and a lot of people have been discussing him lately um, with the connections with Epstein and Rothstein or whatever that other guy name is and all the things that's been going on lately um, with Oprah and um, numerous other stars. Uh, Jay-Z name is among the, the talk of all those situations. So a lot of people were giving, um, stating that he may be, um, have transitioned into uh, a different person and they're playing the role of Jay-Z. Um, and I did want to look into that. Um, a lot of people are saying that uh, Jean Michael Basket, which uh, he is um, a street artist, a street graffiti artist, um, and became a very big uh, star. And um, <clears throat> people were comparing uh, Jay Z and him together, advising that it's possible that Jay. G. Michael Basket has um, transitioned into now playing the role of Jay-Z. Um, so when I did take a look into it, um, I decided to make a video because um, some things did uh, quite, did sync up and align. And I did want to just um, put it together and see what other people think. Um, and let's go through some information about Jean Michael Basket. Um, as you can see, he is French and um, he was born December 22nd in 1960. Uh, another Capricorn handler. <laughs> uh, a lot of them are Capricorns. Um, and uh, he passed away August 12th in 1988. So I found that very interesting because um, I didn't know he was actually passed away. Um, and he actually um, died off of a, a heroin overdose. So um, I just um, looked into, um, yeah, as you can see, a heroin overdose. So he was born in in New York, um, to be precise, Brooklyn Park Slope. And that will be another connection with Jay-Z somehow um, down the line, as I'll show you. Um, and he had, uh, of course, a tragic long uh, history of like where everyone all these celebrities have where um they say basket was born in park slope he was the second of four children um as you can see he, he his father was born in porter prince haiti um so i'm not wrong when i'm saying the things that i'm saying um and his mother was born in brooklyn parents to puerto rican descent See how his father came in and had a child with a Puerto Rican. Um, he was raised Catholic. He has all the things lining up for him to be um, a uh, A-list, whatever they were ever going to create this kid because they are born into it. So, um, of course, in his childhood, I'm not sure how, but they're saying that he was um, molested um, and had a... a um, someone like i guess like gay type of molestation at a, at a young age and he went through <clears throat> excuse me and he went through a lot of um um things of uh, right here where it says he was uh orally raped by a barber dra dressed in drag so you know this person uh and they say as a teenager he was a prostitute on 42nd Street in Manhattan, you know, and back in them days, especially the 70s and the 60s, you know, 42nd Street was a big place where people will, you know, do a lot of hard drugs and prostitutes. So it's not shocking that, you know, they're saying he passed and passed away over a heroin overdose. So um, let's just keep all this in mind of what what's the making of a Illuminati person. Um, he has everything here checked, as I told you. Um, as I've been telling you guys, if you've been watching my channel on how all of this kind of works for them and what kind of connections they have. I don't know exactly how it works technically, but, you know, you can obviously see that this is what's going on. That is a lot of North French, Haitian, um, 
British, uh, Dutch, they're all the same per people that has um, traveled the world and um, has now uh, created this uh, place, uh, you know, uh, in, in, the, in the world where they are, they don't have to work, they consider themselves elites, um, A-list uh, people that don't really, should not have to do any manual labor and put themselves in an upper class. Um, which I don't believe should exist because everyone should be on the same platform on the same level. Um, but for some reason they have created something where they, they are not. Um, so yeah, they're in a small, uh, a one, two, three percentage of people that get to is actually enjoy their life the way exactly, you know, make their life as they want. Um, so yeah, uh, he's, uh, He's a le he's a legend. He has a legacy. So th this is like his drawings that he's known for for being um very um famous. And uh, as you can see, it's going for like thirty one million. Um, as you can look at most of these drawings, I mean, I'm not really gonna blow up a lot of things because I don't like when it goes back. Um, so I'm gonna try not to do much of that. Um, but. As you can see, the drawings, it looks like something you could do, um, like a fifth grader could do. It's like a lot of doodling and, and lines, drawing. It's not really like a lot of, you know, it's it's very graphic. I wouldn't say it's not talent, but, you know, it's just something that I feel like 31 million and him being such a big A-lister, they just make, a, it just shows like they're kind of making fun of us. Like, look what we are making 31 million, you know, like just because if somebody believes that this is real art and it's all just a scam um they're all as i told you artistic type lefty people um their type of culture or whatever they believe in they're all from the left side of the world um and this is what they are they they have a way about them with the <clears throat> the cartoon type artsy type um sculpture type uh things they like to do so anyway so yeah so basquette uh he he identifies as a uh, bisexual, as they say, but majority of the time, it seems like he was really photoed with this uh, guy, Andy Warhol, which, you know, I believe he's a very uh, rich, uh, important man because this is what they really are. They're really sex slaves to these people. They, you know, they're really just here to be the concubines. They really like men a lot, way more than women. So, you know, a lot of these men, especially French descent, you know, are bisexual and they do come and participate and these kind of activities with them they're all in cahoots um with the brotherhood type situation um so you know this is what i believe that this is most likely you know is his boyfriend um because he was pictured with him a lot um throughout his um time and as you can see he's definitely a part of the game um you know he he probably doesn't even know how to draw that's why he's doing things like this it's just they give them a they give them a a a a character so they could be this legend they could create this legend and they just play the role and enjoy the ride and of the of the um of the luxuries that come with it so you know he's like drawing little doodle things for Maya Angelo like you know this is like more for a kid's book but this is Maya Angelo writing sophisticated poems and they're making it seem like the street graffiti doodling is very sophisticated you know just because you know he plays the game properly so um <clears throat> so yeah so here he is famous you know with the crown on his head um yeah and then as you can see interlewing jay-z so we're gonna see how they kind of like sync together um and kind of formulate where I, it made me create a video believing that it's possible that um, this could be uh, Gene Michael Bassett now playing the role of Jay-Z and now or always has been him and transitioned uh, when he passed of being the role of Jay-Z. Sometimes they make them play multiple roles. And since he is at a very high level of a role, a street artist, you know, graffiti artist, of course, if he is going to transition, he's going to be a big A-lister rapper. So we're going to show you how it kind of like makes in. If you can see the writing is all like strategic with the two and the three and the 20 yen, you know, 10 yen. I already told you they live in, you know, scientific um, times 10 uh, scientific method. Uh, everything is times 10 when you're going towards the uh, behind the decimal. 
Um, and this is the kind of people that we're dealing with, the nano type people, technology. Um, so yeah, all that is strategic in there. So it's not like he's just some regular street artist because he's putting in some some um cryptid things. And Jay Z and um Beyonce are obviously um very um put together like uh as uh most of these people are put together because they have to date each other. It's more like a arranged type situation for status. Uh, they always marry most likely just like uh the the culture for status and things like that nature. Um, they're not, they don't have to really actually care or like each other. They don't really ever really be with each other. They just, just make their cameos and that's it. So a lot of people, uh, see a no Jay-Z as, you know, for reasonable doubt, but a lot of people don't know that before reasonable doubt, um, he had a mixtape called the D the demos. So, um, this was done in 1989. Okay. Okay. So, um, funnily, he dies in '88, and then here goes this demo tape, Young Jay Z, um, coming out in '89, and then um, continuing on with his rap career with Jo in 1990. So a lot of people may think, oh, that's a coincidence, but it's just weird that this guy, you know, cancels out at 89 or for heroin dose. And then here go him on the scene, becoming a rap star um, at a very young age. Um, as you can see, in 1990, they came out with the originator, him and Jazzo. So before 1990, he had this mixtape. So, um... Sean Corey Carter, born in December 4th, uh, both born in December, as you can see. Um, he's a Sagittarius. He's a Capricorn, but both the same month. Um, it seems that, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, Jay-Z has, uh, let me see what, what else. Oh, you know, he was born in Brooklyn as well, New York. Uh, so you, we have that in common. Um, and also... You know, he they said he had some song where it says 88s. I'm not sure what 88s, the song 88s mean with Jay-Z, but, you know, that's the year that Basquet died. So they say Jay-Z and J.O. had a Soraka 1988 checkout hove is So, you know, this year, you know, and, and then the, the song with 88 is just also something that's sinking in that is possible that he, you know, passed away. And then moved on to this uh, new character role. Okay. So a lot of people, you know, they try to compare the picture of him when he's an adult. But you have to look at him when he's young. And then look at him when he's young. And, you know, there's some type of similarities there in some way. Um, so as you can see, Jay-Z is also known as selling drugs. He always uh, boasted that he sold drugs. And he had a a nice home um, on 560 State Street. Which is... Um, going towards the Park Slope area in downtown Brooklyn. Um, so that is also a connection where Basket was born in Park Slope and Jay-Z said he sold drugs in Park Slope, uh, going towards downtown Brooklyn and going towards the Park Slope area. Um, and of course, 560 State Street is so cryptid because, you know, 56 is 30, um, you know, so that 56 and then state, state streets as state, like he's property to state or some things like that. Uh, so, you know, all this stuff is very strategic. You can see that Jay-Z is obviously been born into it in this character he's playing. This role has been created for him. As you can see from a young age, he has always was being groomed into this role. So as you can see, 560 State Street, and then here he is with Hillary Clinton. And he did a, his first mixtape, his very first song he put together. It was called Demo. And here he is with a Democrat, okay? And, you know, this is, I know it sounds weird, but this is the things that they do. This is why they're smiling and they're laughing so hard because it's just so, so weird how they put their, these fake uh, star lives together. So here he is living on 550 State Street. And now he's politically working in the state, you know, with a Democrat where he had his first uh, mixtape called The Demos, all right? So this guy's always been a part of the um, the game. He was born into it. Um, here he is with Bloomberg. Um, 
You don't get to sit with uh, all these political people without being at a certain status. So I believe he started to sign his life away here because after these moments, you know, he began to change his appearance. Um, it started to look like, it started to look like, uh, you know, like this. You know, he started to grow dreads and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to show you this as well. You know, they're all their sex slaves. Look how he's like all weird around her and she looks all, you know, they all passed around and had, you know, ha they all had each other. He probably had Jay-Z as well. They're all their sex slaves. They're all together um, in that nature. Um, and look at his turkey neck. So you can see he's obviously like an Albanian type or, you know, whatever. You know, they're all the same people. And you could think this is a mask, whatever, as well. I'm not sure, but very possible he could be very masked up as well. Um, and as you can see, you know, Jay-Z is uh, promoting all the time. And very young Beyonce. Um, and, you know, he also is rumored to be around very young, signing very young Rihanna. This is part of their culture as well, where they date these very young women. They get them at a very young age and um, put them under, you know, in, you know, a lot of, um, look how everyone's staring. It's just a very weird background. Um, everyone's staring for some reason, but um, yeah, so, <clears throat> and also, as you can see, he's known for the Yankee blue, navy blue hat and, you know, NY stands for three, six. So, and also, um, you know, the, 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 you know, bl blue is like, they label it as born living under evil. So there's another cryptid, uh, way where he was able to represent that coding. Um, and he, as also a lot of people were making a fuss about his sweater, um, of the late, um, the late guy Virgil, um, where he would, he, he did like a street graffiti. So, you know, this is another connection of the street graffiti situation of, uh, Michael Basquet and Jay-Z wearing something, um, that's connected to, um, um, a very big scandal. And I don't really get in much into the situations of what they say about these scandals because, you know, when I first was going and diving really deep into all of the the scandals with these situations with these celebrities, um, it does give you a lot of sleep issues like sleep paralysis where you're like, where as I stated like early on, where it gives you like, um, like they come in your dreams like Freddy Cougar and you're not going to be able to sleep. And you'll be waking up like, you know, claustrophobic kind of where you think you'll have to go outside for air. You know, it's like some type of like gasping when you're like indulging into these uh, videos where they're going too graphically for, you know, a long time about, you know, the, these, this, this situation. So anyway, you know, so he ties himself into that. And, you know, the guy that did this, he's passed away now. So it's a lot of um, things going on. Um, with that is just something that doesn't seem right, you know, and this is why we're doing these videos. There's a lot of things that's not, that needs to be explained. You know, we've been supporting them for so long and, you know, a lot of people have questions and they just ignoring them. And I think that's very rude because, you know, we've been supporting them for this long and now you realize it, it never was about the support. These people are always going to be, um, celebrities, whether we supported it or not, it, it kind of was forced upon us because at this point, at this point, when we don't want to support them, they're still, you know, A-list celebrities because they're actually children, descendants of the same criminals and crooks that came over and put this system and changed this system into what we are um, a part of today. Um, so <clears throat> if you want, you can go to back to some of my old videos. I've been um, keeping an eye on Jay-Z for a while now. And I did a video on saying Jay-Z was photo shoot, photoshopped in pictures and I have more proof of that that he has actually he is actually being CGI'd in videos um and I did do a video saying Jay-Z is dead and being CGI'd in appearances I'm and I'm gonna um or you know so check out those videos if you haven't seen them because I've been showing a lot of um things where he's wearing the same suit over and over for a billionaire that is not you know something that makes any sense and also um uh, I said boycott this movie because uh, Jay-Z was a part of 
creating this movie where I felt they stole my idea because early on last year, I was advising y'all about black um, cow, you know, cowboys or whatever, where they were spinning the gun with their hands and, you know, it was in Texas at the line of Texas and they were fighting. And the, the movie is all about that exact situation I was talking about. And um, that was like last year. Then the movie came out this year. So, you know, they're stealing a lot of my stuff and making money off of it. Um, it's not just that. It's a lot of things like the twin in them song. You know, my videos are twins in them. And then the girl that I make videos about comes out with a song saying twinning in them. You know, made money off of that idea and just made a song off of it. And also numerous other things um, <clears throat> that I just can't think of offhand. But yeah, a lot of ideas are getting stolen. But uh, anyway, um, and as you can see, uh, Jay, this is Jay Z's um uncle, and as they say, Jay Z uncle's cut. I mean, Jay Z cousin scammed Rock Nation for two hundred and fifty thousand. And as, if you can look at the features, you know this is this is why Jay Z is connected because you know these are like black, Russian, Dutch. They all like up from like in Russia. As you can see, he has like that Russian hat on. He, like these are like black Jews, you know. So these are the people that we've been talking about, African, Asiatic, um, and Jay-Z is a part of that, and all of them are a part of that, and you could consider them Haitian, you could consider them French, North African, you could consider them Dutch, you could consider them Russian, um, it's a lot of, they, they're all the same descendant of, or West Indian, Jamaican as well, Haitian, um, yeah, so... Um, this scandal right here, uh, it just seemed like this was like an initiation situation where this was before the action movie came out, but they had to like initiate him where he was talking about stolen toilet paper and then Jay-Z never came to the video, but they act like he was there. The guy never, every time Jay-Z talked, this guy never even looked at Jay-Z because Jay-Z was never in the room with him. So this is, why are they doing things like this? Like, is Jay-Z alive? If Jay-Z's alive, why would he, Jay, these are things Jay-Z would never do either. Like, he has, like, a, a personality where he used to be quiet and, like, more mean-like. And it seems like they have Jay-Z all happy and very talkative now where he's so private. He doesn't even have an Instagram. But yet he's over here doing all these skits, you know, and making jokes, which doesn't fit Jay-Z's personality as what I know him as because I know I've been following Jay-Z career. I grew I grew up in that era. So anyway, um we're gonna go over the some of this um to show you some of the gay stuff that they go on. It's talking about him wiping his butt and he hasn't wiped his butt since and that Jay Z stole his toilet paper like at a party. It sounds like he kinda got sexually assaulted by Jay Z the way how but putting in a cold word saying toilet paper and him not wiping his butt. But anyway we can look at listen to a little bit of it. And this is very, this is very weird. I know, I know. And he's never been on live before. He's never been on, been on live, like, but he's not answering my FaceTimes. He hasn't answered one of my calls for almost two weeks. Of course he's not going to answer your call because you're bugging out, James. Like, goo, you're bugging goo, out, bro. goo. I'm not, bu I'm not bugging, goo, and I'm not nuts, goo. I'm not nuts, man, but I need to, I need to speak to home. I just, I need to, I need to speak to him, man. Like, like, yo, who, yo, who yo, else? yo. Who is that? Who is that? Is he there? Is he there? Now he like who is that Jay Z never comes to the camera. Please, 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 like, please can I can I have a word with you, please? Can I have a word with you, please, brother? Please, yeah. please. What's up, please? please? What's going on? Can, can 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 you come to the, come to the screen, please? Now you see. Please come to the screen. Now you see him tell him to come to the screen. Why wouldn't, this is a joke, like, because you know Jay-Z's not even there, and he's pretending he's there, he barely looks at Jay. So this is a very weird skit. It's like he knows Jay-Z's not even really alive, or, like, they're doing, like, voiceovers of Jay-Z, and he's very aware of it, and this is, or they cryptically put that in there for a reason, because he's not actually there. Not coming to the screen, James. Please, I need him to come to the screen. We need to get to the bottom of this, man. Asking too much. Just talk to the man, James. Just talk to the man. Look, look, look. look we trying to get in touch with you about this. And then they do a lot of butt and bottom references. And he said, we got to get to the bottom of this. It's, it's, it's done strategically because this is a lot of butt jokes going on. Goddamn toilet paper. I don't understand. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm not mad. <laughs> no, they're not joking. This man is serious. He nah, wants yeah, to. I'm, yeah, serious. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like the, the paper challenge or something. No, no, same no challenge. He's, he's talking he's about this damn aloe vera toilet paper. Now, now you're talking about no, no, no. And you see how it's like aloe vera toilet paper, like where it's 
he has to soothe his butt like a wound. I mean, it's just very cryptic. No, but he came at our brother Jack. That's enough to be over toilet paper. It gotta be the principal. I, I, nobody. <laughs> it was you. I went through Jesse Williams. Even Sterling like, 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 what's going on? Even Sterling like, K. Brown. James, James, get, get to the point. Like, what? What's, what is this? Jay, I need my black little backpack with my aloe vera toilet paper in it. Jay. Is this like a tissue, tissue challenge? It's not. Nah, it's too... He's talking about he can't use regular toilet paper, so he got this aloe vera toilet paper that his mother. Wait, created. wait, wait! So when did I take your when did I take your uh your, your toilet paper? At the gold party. At the gold party, you took it. You took it, and the reason why I know you took. I know you want to cry all night. See, this is like a hazing, cause Jay Z was gonna be a part of his movie. This is like a year before the movie actually came out or anything. This is like a hazing, um, and saying when did I take it, and he's like, oh, you took it. So anyway, this is very uh creepy. I'm not gonna cry. Like the reason why I know it was you. The reason why I know nobody. <laughs> like, see, see how you guys are. See how you guys are. I have everything. You can't have wait, my, wait. my 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 black back. I just want it back. I mean, I did. Jay, please, Jay. It's a serious question. It is a serious question. If it's serious, uh huh. James. James. Yeah. Have you not wiped your bum since the go party? <laughs> nah, see, see how you guys are. See how you guys are. See how you guys are. See, see what I am. This what is, that was the big finale. See what that is. He has a white bum. What that is. Bum. Like you see what that is. You see now, like I'm, 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 I'm like a lost. Now, do you believe Jay Z would say that something like that? You haven't wiped your bum. Like this is weird. Stop. How you turn? Now you think, now you think you, you know, you making yourself a laughing stock, bro. And I was, you know what? <laughs> At first, at first, when I first got on here, I was... And this is the whole point. This is like a hazing. Um, so let's move on. Tell all the kids that Jay-Z is a In this clip, Jay-Z is going to be CGI'd. He's not... They're making it seem like he's on the streets of New York when he's actually not... Um, um, as, and um, he's be, he's most likely in the studio and on green screen, and you're gonna be able to tell because um, his bodyguards and his head is gonna be uh, glitching, gl glitching like squares, uh, which that only occurs when you're like in and out of the when the green screen comes in and out. <clears throat> excuse me, like a filter, like if you come in and out the filter, it starts glitching. I'm gonna show you, um, and then also another defying evidence that he's CGI'd in this video and he's not actually standing here. Um, if you look at the, the window, you're going to see people walking past on the end and you can see the reflection of them walking and none of them look at Jay-Z. None of them pays Jay-Z any mind. Jay-Z is a very big artist. This little girl is interviewing him. You would think people would stop and start waiting around like, wow, Jay-Z and make a crowd, but no one stops and no one actually even looks. So that's just there to show you. And then the girl, Jay-Z or his bodyguard does not show in the window. So you could, they no reflection of them, but reflection of the people walking past. So you you could already see that this is like some CGI pretending he's there, but he's not. So why do this stuff if he's actually alive? Why are they doing all these CGI things? Successful like you, what advice can you give them? Be a successful like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in yourself, even if anyone else believes in you. Now tuned into the greatest. Got that ultimate confidence like you do. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna blow it up and look at this bodyguard head and Jay-Z head. All the kids that Jay-Z are being successful like you, what advice can you give them? Be successful like me. Now, mm -hmm. as you okay, can see, believe in yourself. Even for you can see them glitching out. See how his head is already glitching and glitching and glitching. What advice can you give them? Be a successful like me. See how the head, at the top of the head of this guy head. It's a lot of glitching going on. And it's going to happen throughout the whole video. Be a video. successful like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in yourself. Even for anyone. Okay. To all the kids that have dreams of being successful like you, what advice can you give them? Be a successful like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in yourself. Even if anyone else believes in you. Now tuned into the greatest. Got that ultimate confidence like you do. You're very confident. Thank you. I show you. And just, just believe in yourself. You can't. Well, what was your biggest motivation that 
it kept you on your so grind. So now you see the people walking okay, in the background? On your grind. Okay, my bad. Okay, so we're going to move on. If you haven't, didn't see the glitching. Okay, you know, this happens a lot. One moment. Okay. Yeah, so, to all the kids that have been being successful like you, what advice can you give them? Being successful like me? Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in yourself. Even for anyone else now believes in you. In the mirror. Now to, to the greatest. Got that in confidence. Now, as you're going to see, people are going to start walking past. No one, this guy doesn't even care that Jay-Z is uh, there. As you can see, this guy right here doesn't care at all. Jay-Z is there. And, just, just... and then we're going to see more people. What, what was your biggest motivation that kept you on your grind? Oh, it kept me, what's the last part? No on one grind. cares. On my grind. No yeah. one cares. Because yeah. you can't not. None of these people care at all. None of them. They did not care Jay-Z was there. It wasn't a big deal at all. Okay? On, and then you can on your see, grind. On my grind. Yeah, yeah. You can see the people walking. Grind. Oh, but kept me, what's the last part? On your grind. On my grind. You can see the people walking here. So they can, you can see them, and then you can see their reflections. All grind. the people. On my grind. But you yeah, don't see the yeah. bodyguard, and you don't see the little girl. <laughs> No one I'm here. thinking that's a really good question. Um, just knowing to represent for a whole culture of people it was bigger than myself. You know, I love what I do. I love making music and love creating, but it's bigger than myself. Like, you know, I, I know every time I open the door, it opens the door for someone like yourself. Thank you. Successful. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay, so as you can see, no one cared walking past. So that's just to show you that no one was actually standing there. They were CGIing them. Um, and then here, um, he, he's coming out of court. And this is another thing where he's like yelling out. Um, he's like, uh, yeah, so he's like, he's going to be smoking on that Kanye and that or something like that. But when does Jay-Z ever yell out in a courtroom, like while he's leaving out? And then like, like, just watch. Are you happy with the outcome of the case? We have, we have money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Like, when does Jay-Z ever tell somebody, A, he like that? And, like, yeah. why is he, like, clapping his hands and, like, pr like why is he doing this? Or for what? Like, what? I don't get this. Like, I don't think he's being sued for no perfume. For Like, come on, are you serious? That, and then, like, the fact that he's being escorted out of court with all these cops surrounding him, usually uh, people does not, you know, when they're leaving court, they don't get surrounded by a bunch of police being escorted out unless they're being reprimanded back to jail or possibly if he's on house arrest back to how his house. Um, a lot of these celebrities, they're on house arrest or, or fake dying, getting deported back. Um, off of a lot of issues, business situations that are going down and they're not telling nobody about it. A lot of um, illegal activities that they probably were participating in and saying that they were having perfume, but it really was like child trafficking things or in, the, in that nature. Um, and like, this doesn't even seem like the real Jay-Z. Um, just very, got the same suit on again. Just very weird um, how he's acting. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, I don't know about this, okay? So, um, shout out to uh, Love Me or Leave Me Alone um, for hitting my inbox for in my Instagram, um, help assisting me on some of these videos and pictures. Um, as you can see right here, this is Jay-Z's mother and grandmother. And she did at show <clears throat> and say that the lady looked kind of just like that Michael Baptiste's uh, grandmother. And as you can see, Michael Baptiste's grandmother is definitely a part of the game. Uh, so, you know, very canning uh, resemblance. So even if they're not the same exact woman, most likely same descendant culture background, which means Jay-Z is most likely Haitian, French, North African descent. And as I showed you, his uncle, cousin, they all are, you know, of that descent. Okay, so um, thank you and shout, shout, 
shout out to you for assisting on this video um because i probably would not have made it without you connecting a lot of these things so um yeah um as i looked i see um slight resemblance but not really much but they do kind of got like the same kind of chin indention um and you know a lot of uh resemblance somewhat but not a hundred percent but you know as i stated it's a lot of uh um connections in syncing with their their profile of their life where he so-called passes and he you know comes on to the scene so that's why instead of comparing older jay-z i tried to start comparing young jay-z because this is the age where he passes and he comes on um and it does give more resemblance here you know i do see more resemblance uh there uh than when he's older when jay-z's older so it's very possible because they are the same frame jay-z was a very small skinny guy just like john baptiste um, as you can see, Jay-Z just, uh, started to take a big liking into this guy for some reason. And, um, it's very possible is because he is actually is him and, you know, faked his death. A lot, as I advise you, a lot of celebrities, they fake their death because they, uh, look into getting the insurance money. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of insurance money was given when you fake your death at a very height of your career. Um, and then disappear or come back as a different character. And as you can see later on in life, he decides to, you know, let you guys know, like, you know, this is what I, I did. I got away with, um, you know, I Houdini or whatever, uh, Machiavelli. I faked my death and became another A-lister in life. And this is what they do with their, their characters, with their, the people that help them out. That's at the very top, probably very direct descendant of, um, some of these people. Um, so, um, yeah, Jay-Z had a big fascination where he is started dressed up as some, as Hall on Halloween as John Michael Baptiste. And that kind of raised, um, eyebrows where it's like, well, why? And, um, most likely it's just kind of giving you a hint, um, that, yeah, um, this is what I'm going, you know, it's kind of gave you a hint that he was going to begin to transition into him because as you can see, she's small. Um, so now he doesn't have to wear a wig. He could just actually wear his hair now. But they already had in script that he was going to transition back into his old character. And as you can see, the Beyonce is kind of dressed up as a Haitian, uh, French descent type woman with her casket ready makeup, like that white, really white looking type um, makeup they have look that they wanted, you know, on purpose. Um, this is like probably like the upper class people from Haiti. Um, they said like it was like a, a society back in the day where it was like upper class people that used to meet up and, you know, they're, they're probably portraying that. Um, and I feel like that's really weird anyway, where Halloween's people will portray actual people and not like, like a ghost or, you know, a fairy. They'll be like someone, a person. I just feel like that's really weird, but they believe that they channel people's, um, um, people so that's probably why they dress up as people because they actually channel their, their their you know person into them or they already actually were them and the joke is on us you know i'm not sure but here we are where he's showing you before he transitioned that he was very infatuated where he's um with you know here he is with the shirt on and also here's another one with the shirt on before he actually transitioned into him so i just thought that was weird and then here he is dressing like a Haitian, upper class Haitian again. This is like the upper, you know, hate, you know, French type of look that they're giving. As you can see, he has the Haitian flag. So I'm not just saying it for fun. This is what's actually going on. Um, Beyonce already says she's Creole. Uh, her name is Beyonce. It's French. Um, <clears throat> Sean, he's spelling it S-E-A. This is like these are French names. Char Carter, Cartier, whatever, Carter. Um... Yeah, so it's show, they're, they're showing their allegiance now. Like, he, you know, they say they're from Brooklyn, they're from this and that, but they actually represent, you know, their culture and where they're really originally from. So that's why it's so harmful for them to be representing Brooklynites and things like that because people from actually from America are looking up and worshiping and leg legendary people that's from different countries. And I think that we could just find our own actual natural Americans and 
have them on more pedestals than all of these um, infiltrators because, you know, it's nothing wrong with him, them being of Haitian or French descent. It's just that they never advised us that they were. And they do have um, also portray these street roles. Like, oh, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, you know, like they're from, you know, they're regular guys from that, you know, America. And then they, 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 they make their funds here. And then boom, they... Then they start to represent this after they make it where, you know, I don't know how much they would have made it as big if they would have always portrayed this this personality. But um, anyway, you know, that's the scam of it all. Um, and also, I just don't see why would you be so representative of this guy like stealing his look, his headband look and everything um, when he is a known ho open homosexual and you're just like representing him so hard and you're supposed to be the street drug dealing guy you know that made it so big and then here you are just transitioning to somebody that's openly with this with Andy Warhol which makes it even worse because it's kind of like a sex slave type you know it's not like oh I love his look he's so gorgeous you know this is more like I love all his money and I wanted to get out of my country and I came to America and they said I could be an artist you know this is the scam that's going on um uh and then also Blue Ivory uh they did also kind of bring up that she could possibly be um, participating in the mask role. Um, I was looking into that as well. That I thought that was really good because they, they do resemble a lot. Um, <clears throat> and I did kind of compare also Michael Bastis and also Blue because, you know, if he is wearing a mask, sometimes they say people, you know, would look like the, what they originally looked like. And, you, you know, Jay-Z, he does have a very wide nose and lips. And usually sometimes when people have that is dominant in their children's look. And for some reason, Blue Ivory or none of them have the nose or the mouth, which is very dominant and they did not receive it. So sometimes it just makes you think that maybe possibly because, you know, that's not his original look. You know, he probably did like something like what Tupac say, where you could add on nose, add on a lip, you know, you know, which just seems like he did, you know. Because they are very resemblant without without all of that. So, if you know what I'm saying. And as you can see, you know, Blue Ivy doesn't mind because, you know, she's, she's an actor as well from day one. They, they're all actors. They're all a part of it. So, if, you know, he's wearing masks or he had a plastic surgery before, you know, that's not something that these kid children will even advise you because they have them working. You know, they're already workers and actors and a part of the game. And if you ask me probably sexually active you know like they have them into like weird situations all the time and then they grow up after disney and say all of this stuff after they're grown but anyway um you know you see jay-z has crypt an encrypted shirt saying blame society but you know is we really blame we should be blaming him and her for you know portraying things and then you know disappearing and Vote and make you know just making us you know they they they're gypsies they're part they're part of a really big scam of the American life um making us sway to more of a French African or Asiatic or whatever life following um directions of a life that he don't even live you know he never lived the life that he portrayed and a lot of people should be blaming him not society because we watched him and it wasn't even his reality. So, um, yeah, uh, I also did try to compare them all together somewhat, and they all cannily kind of look alike, but I kind of see more of them than of him, but, uh, they could be the, or the, they could be the same people. So, <clears throat> and also these children could just be children that just was given to them. I believe the twins are not related to Beyonce or Jay-Z at all. At one point, I believe Beyonce was accepting an award and she um, thanked Blue Ivory and forgot the twins. And then she was like, oh yeah, and the twins, I think somebody kind of reminded her or something. And then she was like, yeah, the twins too. Like like she forgot, totally forgot about them. But um, they always, they can give you children that kind of look like someone because they're all from the same country as, in sorts. And you'll think, oh, they look just like, and they'll, they'll just find someone that's resemblance but not actually the same. But, you know, I'm not sure. Um, 
and um as you can see it seems like they changed they're changing him they're changing him out it just doesn't look like him at all um that's why they got these masks on because um the looks their their looks just keep changing like his eyes and face look very different here you know ever since he got these dreads it looks like um the real jay-z signed over started to hang out with like Hillary Clinton and Bloomberg and then boom, you know, he became Michael Baskett somehow. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see the headline, it says, how did the FBI know Jay-Z's email was tampered with? So it's just like, what, what kind of um, court cases is he really going to, you know, and is, is he, why is he being CGI'd and, and fake and being in fake TikTok videos and not showing his face, but they're just putting his voice in, like, and then he's going to all these court appearances and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, they look very, just looks very weird. They look very weird and possess. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't look like, you know, he looks very, like, it just looks like a very, a bit, a mask. It looks like a female is possibly playing a role sometimes. If you could look at the mouth, it looks very female-ish, you know? Probably a, a CGI fake video. Look at his hair. It just doesn't even match. You know? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's all I have. Uh, just try to cancel these people because they're up to no good. They're nobody to trust. Um, they're only worrying about them and their alliances and their allegiance. Um, and the, the things that they do is very awful uh, just for them to be... Um, a part of a, a higher class um, and not have to work and, you know, have people um, pick up their garbage and get, like, you know, get their lunch and Starbucks and things of that nature. Just just for that, they're, they're willing to do a lot of bad, negative things um, and live <clears throat> live the opposite of what America, you know, this, this side, the right side of what America believes in. They're trying to transition America into what the left side of, you know, on that side of Asia believes in and they're coming in like aliens trying to enforce these uh like spaceship uh beam me up scotty type um you know cult leader type stuff like it's weird now watching them do it is very cultish um and i just want them to get away from me um and hopefully a lot of people want them to get away from them and let them take their sparkling um you know line stepper clothes their line stepper whatever and you know go back to the where they where they pre practice this at but anyway like share and subscribe and try to share it out as much as you can um or like it as much as you can um like it twice if you can so it can start spreading out and people can start seeing the true colors and the, the real side of these uh so-called celebrities that they are putting on pedestals they're worshiping um and not even knowing even if you try to cancel them that you can't you, you're going to realize that it's hard to cancel them because they're they're being put on there whether we like it or not you know so you can start seeing that it's not really the people's choices like they're and you think it's your choice, but it's really not. Um, so um, and I think it's all a scam. I, I prefer everyone to try to cancel, which means like try to unfollow them. Definitely don't buy anything that they're selling. They're selling everything that you could think of, even underwear, um, home goods. They sell everything. Try to uh, support local things that you trust. Make your own things um, and just try to cancel them. Um I hope you guys enjoyed your uh, holiday. Um, if, I, if you don't celebrate break the holidays, I'm not big on holidays, but I do appreciate hanging out and spending quality time with family and loved ones. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. And um, I was a little bit sick. I'll talk about that on my live. Hopefully that I'll be doing soon. Um, I think I caught the Marion and I'll talk about the symptoms and things like that. Um, and uh yeah um have a good rest of you guys night like share subscribe and hopefully this this message gets out to the right people so we can start doing the right thing and start pushing forward with a better life uh style without the influence of uh the you know of the people that you know just makes me uncomfortable uh knowing that they are um they're, they're tricksters, you know, you know, whatever, uh, magicians, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, you know, circus, just knowing that they're what they really are, you know, they're clowns, 
trying to keep your attention like watch me watch me while they you know rape us blind and work us to death so yeah enjoy the guy you guys night